Hello friends and welcome. Welcome to another episode where I celebrate one year of my activity on YouTube by presenting you all my collection. Today will be an episode where I will feature a Chinese producer, one of my favorite Chinese manufacturers. Today will be a special episode about Jin Hao. Those are the current models from uh, the Jin Hao producer. And I must tell you that they are quite, quite affordable products. All that you see here, the individual prices don't succeed 10 euros. I won't be focusing about their prices. If you want to see the prices and uh, written samples of each and every model that you see here, you can uh, look for them on my channel. So this will be just a short presentation of all the Jin Hao models in my current collection. Of course, because they are so affordable, I always buy uh, new models or new colors of uh, the models I already have in my collection. And in general, they are good, good uh, writers. I uh, didn't have much problems with them. Now we will go and I will show you some characteristics of every, every product that you see on my desk. So I will start with um, this one. This is an interesting, interesting fountain pen. And I like the shape of it. It is the Jin Hao 993, or as I call it, Sharky, or the Shark version. You can uh, see that we have the cap in uh, a form of a shark. This is the head, this is the finials, and this is the shark tail. On the back, you, we will see Jin Hao, technically imprinted, and the famous logo with the chariot. Interesting. At uh, this uh, price level, this is a low entry fountain pen, we have a screwed in cap, a nice, nice little feature. Because uh, many people, uh, they complain if they have a pressure fit cap that in time it will fail. But this has no problems, has a quite, quite nice open nib. Look at this beauty. In this case, we have a steel nib an F nib, a simple plain feed. I like the fact that um, we have this transparent part. It is quite okay when you grip the fountain pen because it is faceted. And you could uh, use their um, cartridge, which was included in the price. I'm not so sure, but I don't think uh, uh, this pen or the other pens could hold international type cartridges. So they are proprietary to the Jin Hao uh, Chinese manufacturer, but uh, they are not uh, expensive. And of course, if you don't have access to them, you live in a zone that uh, doesn't have many Chinese products, you could use always a syringe to refill the cartridge. And by the way, it is possible to uh, also hold, because of its dimensions, also it could hold a uh, Jin Hao ink converter. So this is the Shark model. Quite, quite a nice uh, fountain pen, a school fountain pen, uh, with um, this appealing uh, cap for school children. And I think this is a quite nice model. Now let's move on. And uh, by the way, guys, I have here um, Pelican M800 to see uh, in comparison the dimensions of the fountain pens. So this is a slim fountain pen, of course, but uh, they are from different categories. This is an entry level fountain pen and this, of course, a luxury fountain pen. But um, I will use it just to compare the dimensions of the fountain pens. And now let's move on to one of my favorites. And with this uh, shiny, shiny steel, it looks like um, Parker Ale 
airliner, but uh, no. This is the Jinhao 911 steel. And in this particular version, it's not a simple steel version, but it's a steel dragon. Because you can see that on the barrel we have engraved and painted this wonderful, wonderful dragon fig figure. And we have on the cap Jin Hao. I'm sorry, Jin Hao 911. Quite, quite a nice uh, shiny fountain pen made out of metal and at an affordable price. I think that uh, this is uh, the most inexpensive fountain pen that I have in this configuration. Interesting, a semi hooded nib like the Parker 51. Quite, quite nice. Let me open it for you to see. Here we don't have an aerometric filling mechanism, but a simple cartridge one. And I think you could uh, insert a uh, ink converter without uh, problems. Despite the fact that it's a metallic fountain pen, it is quite light. And I like, I like the way it um, writes. It is quite, quite smooth. I'm sorry, guys. Now I will move on to uh, another fountain pen that is similar to the Parker 51. And this is the Jinhao 51A with uh, this beautiful, beautiful acrylic body, which I call it Amber. It has some colors that remind me of Amber. Oh, we have a little condensation of the cap. I didn't uh, open it for a period of time. Fortunately, I have um, a little tissue here. I just wanted to compare the two models. So the 911 with the 51A. And um, I want to see if the pieces are compatible. So this is the 51A. I'll put it here. And this is the 911. I want to compare them to see some characteristics. It seems that the nibs are the same. So again, this is the 51A and this is the 911. Okay, I want to see if the pieces are compatible, so I will take the body of the 51A and try to uh, put it on the 911. And yes, it is compatible. Let me see now if the Jinhao 911 can close the cap. Yes. So another look <laughs> to them. Let me see if uh, the body of the 911 can be put on the 51A. And here we have a little problem. Yes, it is not compatible with uh, this model, but I think that the cap is compatible. So almost, almost, it gives another aspect to the pen. And let me see if it can be posted with the original. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. So with the 51A, it goes still here. And this goes still here. So it gives the impression that the pen is longer. Okay, I definitely need to clean the cap uh, inside. And I don't think I have a uh, no. So a nice way to clean the cap is with uh, this. You can clean the cap quite, quite uh, nice. I don't like to clean it under water because uh, maybe some parts uh, will, will get rusted. So I just use this. Now guys, I will put uh, back those fountain pens. So, um, like uh, the price, this was half the price of uh, this amber one, but uh, this indeed is beautiful with this acrylic uh, body. It gives the impression that we have a celluloid 
but no, it is uh, an acrylic body. Of course, the shape of the 911 is more slim than uh, the 51A. The 51A resembles quite a lot with the Parker 51, and I think the Chinese named uh, this product 51A as a homage to the iconic, iconic Parker 51 pen. Now I have three fountain pens that are uh, similar and I will use um, this red one. So all the three fountain pens, they are uh, the Jinhao 992. You can see in blue, in uh, black and this red one. They are interesting, interesting in shape. And I think that they resemble a lot the um, uh, Mont Blanc 146 model, only in shape, of course. We have the traditional uh, cigar shape or torpedo shape. We have this uh, clip that is quite similar with the Mont Blanc 146. And even we have one uh, large ring which uh, it is engraved Jin Hao and that's it the cap unscrews we have a beautiful beautiful two-tone steel nib you can see a small nib the cap turns like this it could hold the cartridges or ink converters so sorry we have a plastic body and this is the fountain pen. I believe you can transform this in an eyedropper, so use the whole body like a big, big cartridge. You, I don't see any holes, so I believe that this can hold a large amount of ink. Maybe it will be a do-it-yourself or I will do it, this project. So, another favorite fountain pen of mine, because um, they are quite light. So, in comparison, I have this fountain pen. And this fountain pen, it is the famous Jin Hao 159, which has the same dimensions as the Mont Blanc 149. But um, because this is metal and this is plastic, I often use this one to write to and this maybe just to show off or give a little signature because on long writing session it can be quite quite a heavy fountain pen. But till we reach uh, that fountain pen, I think yes, why not? Let's talk about them now. So a quite quite wonderful fountain pen with those gold trims as you can see the same uh, identical uh, outer dimension as the Mont Blanc 159. An interesting looking uh, clip on the cap that has a little uh, logo. Again, the Jin Hao right here. And this time we have also uh, 159, the model name. So this, it unscrews. Uh, it reveals a wonderful, wonderful steel nib in uh, two colors. The Jin Hao logo, 18K GP. It means 18 karat gold plated. Okay, and the body and screws like this. We don't have a piston filler like the Mont Blanc, but instead we, we have uh, this... Um, converter which is quite quite a nice converter with this metallic part it is a proprietary from Jin Hao and it is included in the price of the pen quite quite uh, functional and uh, practical I like the way that we have uh, two we have metal over metal so it gives a nice uh, resistance and the same fountain pen in black. They are not quite similar because this Jin Hao right here, you can uh, see, it is a Jin Hao Shield Sword series. 
and the shield sword refers to the clip of the cap. You can see they are quite similar in the in the shapes, but this has the ending of so or or the grip of the sword, and on the shield again we have the logo of uh, Jin Hao. And last of my collection, it is quite a flamboyant fountain pen. And uh, it is a matter of taste. Most of my friends uh, liked this product. Uh, they, uh, when I say I paid only 10, uh, I think, yes, only 10 euros it cost me. So not quite a expensive fountain pen, but when you show it off, it draws attention. I love the artificial rubies that are the eyes of the dragon and look at this wonderful wonderful clip and i like that all the body has uh, this pattern which mimics the um, skin of the dragon or uh, a lizard skin because <laughs> the dragon is a fictional animal so jin hao here and again the modern name 1200 or 1200 quite quite a nice fountain pen it has um, unfortunate in my opinion a pressure fit cap and a great role in this pressure fit it gives this plastic piece inside of the cap again a rather big nib and i want to compare it with the nib of the 159 so if I'm not mistaken, I think that they are the same uh, sh shape. Yes, and they are practically the same with the logo and the 18 karat gold plating. Let's put this here. Uh, although it's a metallic fountain pen, I think it is more lighter than this one. You should check my reviews and you will see what they weigh again metal here and metal here and again an ink converter included in the price so guys what can i say you might hate the chinese manufacturers because they often steal design elements of iconic fountain pens but believe me guys at these prices you could really experiment yourself with a small entry collection and what i like about the jinhao products is that uh, they are usable so i can use my pelican m800 but this pelican is like uh, 300 euros and all that you see here are maybe maybe they uh, are uh, at the 50 euros um, in total so okay i i um let's say i lose one of these fountain pens no problem i will give uh, 10 or 12 euros and i will replace it but let me lose this fountain pen and believe me i will have some uh, sleepless nights and uh, i will be f filled with regret Guys, this was my review of the Jin Hao products. It is uh, definitely a Chinese manufacturer that uh, I recommend you to, to check out from time to time. Maybe they will uh, bring new models, new and in interesting models. I want to wish you to have a nice day wherever you are. If you liked this review of my small Jin Hao collection, Please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. As always, I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye bye and please take care of yourselves.